everyone, so I'm here to do my 31 week update, which just seems crazy to me. These last weeks are really flying by, I think just because, you know, Christmas is coming up and I've been focusing on that rather than sort of the pregnancy. It just seems to be the weeks are flying. I just want to say as well, apologies for my voice. We have been really ill over the weekend and I'm still not 100%, so I hope you can kind of hear past my really annoying voice. But I'm going to get straight on to symptoms. I actually seem to be having um, a few new symptoms. So the first thing is actually bladder weakness. Um, I've noticed this sort of increasing over the last few weeks, but now it's kind of getting quite bad especially if I'm really desperate for a wee um, like I kind of can feel that if I cough or sneeze it's probably gonna be game over so I have been using the lights by tenor these are the light liners the smallest ones that you can get and they're really discreet and really comfortable really thin and they use the Feel Fresh technology as well, which just means that it helps lock in the moisture and control the odour. So they're really nice to wear just to keep you fresh, even if you're not experiencing any leaking. And obviously, if you do have a little oops moment, then you have this on and you don't need to worry too much about it. So I feel like bladder weakness is something that isn't spoken about a lot, but I think it's actually 69% of women experience it during or after pregnancy. So that's quite a lot of women. I thought I would just mention all of my symptoms that I am getting in case you are having the same and you feel a bit embarrassed. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's perfectly normal um, and, you know, there are products out there to help you. You can actually sign up for a free pack of the Lights by Tenor. I will leave the info and the link in the description box if you want to do that. So, yeah, that is my first symptom. Second symptom is constipation. Now, I know I'm lucky to have got away with this so far. I know some women have it in the first trimester or all the way through. Um, I've actually had the opposite problem so far until now. Um, but now I think everything is just getting squashed and a little bit bunged up um, so yeah that's not really that fun either what else have I got um, another symptom is heartburn is really really ramped up I have been having Gavscon all the time I've been finding it really hard to sleep a lot of people have suggested like sleeping sat up so you're not led down flat but I just can't sleep like that I can't get comfortable and I seem to wake up with neck ache which then causes a headache so just kind of having to lie flat and put up with it and just drink Gavscon. Um, so yeah, that is not fun at all. Also, I've been having a lot more pain in terms of SPD and the trap nerve in my bum is back as well, which is not fun. Um, yesterday I was in a lot, a lot of pain. I actually really thought that I might be in early labour. My back was hurting so much and it was sort of like squeezing like it was in early labour with Sienna because she was back to back. Um, so I was getting a little bit worried but I had to lie down and a rest and sort of change positions. I also got on all fours and tried to sort of move her and it seemed to go away so that was good. I wasn't in early labour but it was getting to that point where it was just constant back squeezing I was like this really reminds me of early labour so yeah that wasn't fun and I've also been getting a pain under my right rib which I had a little google which I know you're not meant to do but a lot of women have experienced the same and apparently it's just sort of like the rib cage um, getting squashed or your breastbone sort of being on your rib cage if that makes sense um, and obviously all your organs, there's not a lot of room in there anymore. She's getting bigger by the week now. Um, I think it said she's putting on half a pound a week now. Um, so yeah, everything's just getting squashed and it's just all being sort of shoved up. So it's no wonder that it's quite painful. But it feels like a horrible burning pain and they just have to sort of rub it. Um, but yeah, that wasn't fun either last night. So I had all of this pain going on and I was just a bit like, oh, third trimester. What are you doing to me? But I do feel better today, so that's good. Another symptom as well, I'm not sure if it's from the cold, but I just haven't been feeling hungry. 
and I just don't know what, because I'm not hungry, I don't know what I fancy. I've done like a meal plan for the week, but I never fancy cooking dinner because I just don't know what I want to eat. I've just been sort of having snacks here and there, um, and I find that if I eat too much in one sitting, I get really, really full, so I'm having to sort of eat smaller portions more often. Um, so yeah, that's quite annoying because I actually quite like being hungry and enjoying my food when I know what I want. But um, yeah, I just haven't been hungry at all. But I'm hoping maybe it's just the cold and that will go away because I don't remember being like this with Sienna. With Sienna I was just hungry the whole way through. Also, I'm not sure if it's hormones or dry skin, but at night when I get into bed my skin is so itchy everywhere. I'm finding it really hard to get to sleep because I'm just constantly itching. And I shower at night before bed and I have been bathing myself in my cocoa butter oil. So I don't think it can be dry skin, I think it's just hormones because I had it with Sienna. But it is the most annoying symptom ever. It's just, oh, I just get in bed and I just want to scratch my whole skin off and I cannot relax to get to sleep, which is really annoying. In terms of sort of like my skin breaking out, it was really bad in the first trimester. And then my chest was really bad in the second trimester. Now I'm in the third trimester, my chest is clearing up a little bit. still have a bit of scarring from horrible spots that I've had. Um, that I'm hoping it will fade. Um, my skin hasn't been too bad, although it has broken out today. But I'm not sure again if that's from being ill over the weekend. Um, but kind of on the whole, it's kind of all clearing up, which is really nice. And also another symptom that I have noticed is a third trimester nails and I call it that because I am never have nails like this unless I'm in the third trimester of pregnancy. Um, they're not like overly long but for me this is the longest they've been since I was this pregnant with Sienna so it must be something about the third trimester when I'm pregnant. My nails just grow like crazy. I actually had to cut them down because they were too long, I didn't like them. Um, which I never thought I would have. So, so yeah, I think that is all for symptoms. Um, haven't really done any more baby buying. I did a haul in my, I did a haul that you have all seen for new stuff. I have ordered a little bit more, so there will be another haul coming up. I forgot how much stuff you need for a baby. Um, what else can I say? Oh, I had my glucose tolerance test results back and everything was fine. It was actually a little bit weird because she looked at my results and she said my blood sugar levels were actually higher before I had the sugary drink, which is really weird. Um, I don't know why that is. My body just obviously really good at getting rid of sugar if I have a lot of sugar in one go. I don't know. Um, but she said that was good anyway, so I don't need to redo that, which is good. And I don't have gestational diabetes, which is good. Um, she checked the heartbeat and she did my fundal height at my 28 week appointment or 29 week appointment? 29 week appointment. Um, everything's measuring on track, baby's heartbeat still sounds great, so that is really good. Um, so I think that's all that I have to update you on. Quite a lot of new symptoms this week which I'm sure are just going to carry on through the third trimester. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I will just show you my bump. So she's definitely getting bigger. This is my bump with clothes on. And then, oh, there's a car just coming up the road. They probably think I'm really weird. Okay. So yeah, and then this is my belly without clothes on. So I still feel a bit smaller than I was with Sienna. Um, but yeah, not too much. I'm still sort of a similar size. I think I'm okay. My, you know, my bump's measuring on track. So yeah, that is my bump. And I still have no new stretch marks as well, which I'm really happy about. So I'm hoping it stays that way. I'm hoping bathing myself in oil every night is really helping the elasticity of my skin this time. So that is all for this pregnancy update. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it so you can stay up to date with all my future ones and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!